So on top of going absolutely crazy and doing all these builds, I just went on my distributor's account and I ordered the brand new uh, M&P 5.7 magazine. So now I can offer magazine carriers for the Smith & Wesson 5.7. And what's the point of offering the carriers if you don't offer the holster? So Multimolds just dropped this. So we're going to go ahead and start offering those. It's not on my website just yet. I have a plethora of molds that I'm going to have to add to the website as soon as I can sit down. Uh, there's a lot. I have um, a good 25, maybe 30 molds in-house that aren't even listed yet. Not to mention all of this. So anyways, um, like I said, so that's on the way. Uh, I also have the brand new FN 545, uh, the Canic Meat MC9, uh, the 510, the same as the 545 uh, FN holster-wise. Um, let's see, a couple Bursas, the FN MK357, that's also in. And like I said, I've been buying a lot to make everyone happy, and that's one of the reasons why some stuff takes so long. But anyways, we're going to do an interesting build today. This is nothing firearms related, but if you have a wallet mold, I'm going to show you how to make a pretty cool necklace. Stay tuned. So generally when you have a wallet uh, mold, you have the mold itself, a trim jig, and a folding tool. So we're going to be using all of this. Uh, this is just going to be simple black, but I'm going to show you a little trick to stay in the legal realm of doing it. I forgot who it is, but there's this really cool company out there that has a patent on wallets um, with no special, no nothing on them. So we're going to do this a little, we're going to, we're going to um, bedazzle it up. There we go. We'll bring back the 90s. So we're going to bedazzle up a necklace um, Kydex wallet that has a uh, money clip on it. So let's, let's get to doing it. We're going to need black Kydex, which I'm pretty sure I might have a piece of scrap big enough for this. My oven is on. Let's get to town. Let's get to town. Let's go to work. Let's do it. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but I have a little hole right there. And yeah, you can see it. There it is. All right. Uh, I did that so we can have some suction when we put this down. And that's this, this is all we're going to add to this. And guess what? We're not going to do copyright infringement. So let's let's just stick it on. Oop. Take me to church. All right. A uh, piece of blue tape. Represent. Is I'm going to take a 1.5 foamy because that's what I use for the money clip and I'm just going to verify that when it's on here it doesn't extend past this so that's all it's going to look like and just to kind of clean up the tape lines I'll go ahead I know some of you are screaming at the phone clean up your tape oh it's on the inside anyways how's that so we're going to do that my press like I said I had a piece of scrap Perfect. I'm going to get it in the press. Making wallets is so easy. A caveman can do it. All right. So, um, we got to put our mold in the press. Or, on the vacuum press. So, let's go ahead. Let's clean that off. Our mesh. And let's adjust this. We're good to go. It's always a good time while we're waiting to crack open a cold one. By of course, I mean the gorgeous Yoohoo. Mmm, so delicious. Mm-hmm. Mmm. If you don't know, I actually don't drink, so. Yeah. But I'm still fun at parties. Go. Beautiful. Like it was meant to be, because it was. 
It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Now, just to warn you, this is a very, very simple, very, very quick build. However, it is extremely easy to mess this up, and I will explain why. Uh, you can't do all of the trim jig because we need extra pieces to run the eyelets in for the paracord. So you got to keep that in mind, otherwise you're making more and you're wasting material. So let's go ahead, let's mark up what we need to do and um, just get it done, get it out. Put that right there. So when we do this, okay, this is going to go just like this because we're going to do the cutout on the left side, not where this side is because this side is going to go towards the back and we want this on the front. Uh, so that means on the back side, which is this side, we're going to want to put two eyelets right here. And to do that, we're going to have to drill an eyelet on each side. And I believe... One of these has the right spacing I need, but I just built a ton of holsters and I didn't put it back. Oh, there we go. Aha, see, there it is. So what I'll do, I'll line up that edge right there. And we're gonna go uno and dos. So, technically we don't even need to mark it, but so it stays flat and even. This car had an independent rear suspension. All right, let's get those in here. And if you haven't figured out by now, when building Kydex, you have to make sure you see the final product because otherwise you're not gonna really do too well. All right, there you go. You're gonna waste a lot of Kydex. And so again, cutout is gonna be on this side. That is pressed in. So I'm gonna cut just straight up and then right on that line right there and then we'll cut around it. And I'll show you what's next. And if you notice, all I did was I stopped right there. We're going to clean that up. We're going to clean this up. We're going to fold it. We're going to be good to go. I'm going to show you a couple extra things left to do. the Dremel and I rounded out the edges even though it's not focusing and I just blah 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 because apparently I didn't record All right. and we're gonna go ahead and I have shorter ones there we go. the 810 eyelets that I normally use are for two pieces of kydex put together so these ones are 88 and uh, I'm gonna make it so as you see it is gonna be the clean side um, I'll show you the difference between 8.8 and 8.10 as well. Alright, there's that. Simple, no brakes. Uh, let me see here. And Alright, so right there, that is an 8.8. And that is an 8.10, if you could see that right there. And then... They go up. This one is I use for like three pieces or two pieces. So on top of the eight. Whoop. Let's see 
here. I'm gonna get all three. 8, 8, 8, 10, and I believe that one is an 8, 12. So there you go right there. And you guys should know by now that it is much, much easier to install this stuff when there's uh, nothing there. Or as in it's not folded, but we might have to. Okay, so you see how I should have used the longer piece? All right, we can fix that, and I'll show you how. A few moments later. As you can see, my parts bin, I never throw hardware away. So these are flattened on two sides. And what do you know? Now it fits perfectly. So one and two. Might as well get the foamy, actually. And because there's no adjustable tension, no nothing, these are going on. greasy Italian finger prints off of this. All right, now we're gonna take the jig, this guy right here, and you place it in the middle. You heat up, fold, and press until good. And here we are folded, and getting a nice tight bend is what you want. That way nothing can accidentally slip out. You have to grab it with your thumb, and then the money clip. And so let's go ahead, uh, we're going to add the paracord, and this is going to be all set to go. Oh, after I laser engrave it, of course. So let's grab some paracord. Gonna melt the end and then press it against the knot, and that baby never coming out. And then, what I like to do is uh, pretty much put it on. I like to have it, let's see here, can I zoom out a little bit? There, I like to have it so it's uh, right around my peck area in my cleavage. And uh, let's see here, so we'll shut it right about there. Very dull blade. Let's get this in here. All right, and then same thing. We're gonna go ahead. Let's see here. Just do a quick little guy. I'm not gonna tighten it crazy amount. Okay, goes through my head, no problem. Right there, that's perfect. Actually, where it's at. So let's go ahead. I was Joan of Arc in my former life. Press that down. There we go. Let's see here. Do I have any? All right. ID. Bam. There we go. Do I have money on me. Yes, I do. No, oh, that's a that's a receipt. There we go. And uh, bam, just like that. You know, I always liked it that I could pull the money straight from the bottom. I don't have to flip it over and fiddle with it. I could see it right here, which is why I place it where it is. I could also move it forward if need be. But um, there it is right there. Yeah. And some people will actually take a rubber band, put a rubber band around it as well. That's completely up to you. But until then, here is the Kydex wallet with a money clip. <laughs> And thank you guys so much for watching this episode. This holster 
holster is going all the way out to New Jersey, actually, so six hours away from me. And, uh, you know, I do these builds because I hope, one, it inspires you to build your own thing. Two, gives you ideas of what to build. But this is just, uh, the sky's the limit. There's one guy I know that does uh, a rose every year for Valentine's Day. He makes a rose, and it's absolutely awesome. I don't even want to try it because I know I'll mess it up. But thank you guys for watching. Huge shout out to Holstersmith and KnifeKits.com. They provide everything you see in here. And uh, I hope you guys learned a thing or two. And please feel free to subscribe if you haven't. If you like to use... Eh, blah, 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 blah. Mm. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already just to see what the future brings. And I hope to uh, do the journey along with you. So I will see you on the next one. And again, if you guys didn't know, you can get all of these boxes and much more from your local post office. Or if you don't want to go out and you're like me and you'd rather just stay inside and not deal with people, then go right on to USPS.com and then you can go ahead and uh, order as many boxes as you want. Now, we can go ahead, do some couple more things and off it goes. And uh, this is GoShippo. If you don't know what GoShippo is, it is a free uh, shipping platform. Uh, we already have the order right here. You can see one Kydex wallet. View order, and we're gonna go ahead. This box is eight by five by two, and it weighs six ounces. So we'll just mark that in there. Bada bing. And it's gotta think, gotta do its thing. And then on this side, it's going to show you once it thinks and it gives us all the rates available, it'll show you what we're gonna do. Now USPS priority mail is what was paid for and it's in a US priority mail box. So let's get that out there. That's actually really cheap. And then it's gonna go ahead and it's now gonna notify the owner. Uh, yep, okay. And just a print. Now the only thing left to do, smack it on the box, and off it goes. Bye-bye. <laughs> Almost forgot. Cheers. Mm-hmm.